Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make a hexaflexagon. I don't have a model here with me, but it's pretty cool. It's a revolving um, hexagon. So, to make it, you're just going to need a printer paper, scissors, glue, or you could do double-sided tape, or just normal tape. What you do is you fold your printer paper in half like this and then fold that and you fold it to the half and crease that and then fold that and you fold it to this piece here Here's where the scissors come in. What you need to do is cut along this line and this line. What you're going to have in the end is two paper strips. If you want, you can skip ahead because I'm not showing anything until I finish. Except for a little bit of the paper. So I got this piece. So now I gotta cut that. Okay, what you should have here is two basic paper strips. What you're going to do is combine them. So, let's get the glue here. Or tape or whatever you want to do. Let's glue these together. You could also just take a super long strip of paper. But... Whatever works. That's what you do. Okay. Flipped up. Now you got this one little, little giant strip of paper. Go to this end of it. This is bent accidentally, but what you're going to do is bend it like this. <coughs> there we go. Then, what you're going to do is make this go the long way. You're going to bend it this way to make a triangle. Then you bend it the other way to make, oh, basically to make another triangle. Hold on, this is hard. Okay, then you just keep folding down and down. The strip of paper. You could also go on this side and just fold it like that. As long as it's getting folded into triangles. They don't need to be perfect triangles. In fact, I never make the perfect triangles or even close to perfect. Just keep bending them up until you get like practically to the end. Like only like three folds to the end. Because what you're going to need is 19 triangles. Okay, I've hit my half point, so that's like about 12, 
so far. Or something like that. But I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Also, I'm sorry for not have posted in a while. It's been a while until I thought of posting another. And I just got into these hexaflexicons that I saw. And I decided to make some. Just to tell you, this is not my original creation. So I don't think it is. Anyway, that's our final fold there. Now what you do is you unfold it all. Flatten it out. All the way to the end here. Also, you can cut off this little... Actually, no, I'll leave it, leave it. Okay, we've had it flattened out. Make sure there's 19, so let's go. One, two... Wait a minute. I think you can cut off this piece here. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what you should do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay. Just cut off that extra pieces there so that you got this at the end. We should have. Okay. Now face it so that this point is pointing upwards. Well, this tip is pointing upwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this behind there and tilt it in this direction. Then you're going to fold this back. Then this. Doesn't matter if you're doing backwards folds as long as it just keep going like that. All the way to the end. And I'm gonna show you what you do at the end. What you do here is like it's not enough to make another. So what you do is you put this triangle upwards. That. Okay, go to the beginning now. What you're supposed to do here. Oh, no, go to the other side. What you do is you bend this this way. Then you bend this this way. It's looking like a hexagon, and then you put the bottom above it. Here is your almost final product. Here comes the double sided tape or the glue. I'm using double sided tape, so just always had trouble with double sided tape. Take your little strip of double sided tape or glue. So you position this in the correct place. And then you attach these two. There we go. This is your uh, hex flux gun. Now I'm going to show you how it works. What you do is you find one of these creases here and you just pinch it. And you push on the other side, and you can open up the center. Now, I should have came with a marker, but there's like six sides on this. Yeah, there is six sides if you did it correctly. And um, also, pretend one way won't open. Let me try to find an example. Okay, see? Dang it. Everything's so openable. Okay, right here. 
pretend you scrunch it up, but then the it won't open. Then it won't open, okay? But at some point, it might open. It depends where you're at. And your Xbox One. See, I call this the radioactive lock. This means that it can open and it can't open. See, there's a, there's like little below ground triangles. Well, these are like above it, way above it. And at some point, if you keep folding it randomly, these big triangles will disappear and everything will be equal again. So, uh, hope you like this. It looks like there's only two sides. There's not only two sides. Don't let, don't let it trick you. Also, try not to flip it over. I think that might mess it up, especially if you've already labeled it. So just don't do that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Hope you learned something, like how to make this. And I. Uh, be have fun making these things. Anyway, see you in my next video. Goodbye.